from the gospel according to Luke chapter 24 verses 13 to 35 That very day the first day of the week two of Jesus' disciples were going to a village 7 miles from Jerusalem called Emmaus and they were conversing about all things that had occurred and it happened that while they were conversing and debating Jesus himself drew near and walked with them but their eyes were prevented from recognizing him he asked them what are you discussing as you walk along they stopped looking downcast one of them named cleopas said to him in reply are you the only visitor to jerusalem who does not know of the things that have taken place there in these days and he replied to them what sort of things they said to him the things that happened to jesus the nazarene who was a prophet mighty in deed and word before god and all the people how our chief priests and rulers both handed him over to a sentence of death and crucified him but we were hoping that he would be the one to redeem israel and besides all this it is now the third day since this took place some women from our group however have astounded us they were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body they came back and reported that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who announced that he was alive then some of those with us went to the tomb and found things just as the woman had described but him they did not see and he said to them ho oh, how foolish you are how slow of heart to believe all that the prophet spoke was it not necessary that the christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory then beginning with moses and all the prophets he interpreted to them what referred to him in all the scriptures as they approached the village to which they were going he gave the impression that he was going on farther but they urged him stay with us for it is nearly evening and the day is almost over so he went in to stay with them and it happened that while he was with them at the table he took bread said the blessing broke it and gave it to them with that their eyes were opened and they recognized him but he vanished from their sight then they said to each other were not our hearts burning with us while he spoke to us on the way and opened the scriptures to us so they set out at once and returned to jerusalem where they found gathered together the leaven and those with them who were saying the lord has truly been raised and has appeared to simon then the two recounted what had taken place on the way and how he was made known to them in the breaking of the bread words of the holy father jesus's encounter with those two disciples appears to be completely fortuitous it seems to be one of those chance meetings that happen in life the two disciples are walking deep in thought and a stranger comes up alongside them it is jesus but their eyes are not able to recognize him and therefore Jesus begins his therapy of hope. What takes place on this road is a therapy of hope. Who administers it? Jesus. Firstly, he asks and listens. Our God is not an intrusive God. Even though he knows the reason for the disappointment of those two men, he gives them time to be able to deeply fathom the bitterness which has overcome them. Out of this comes a confession that is a refrain in human existence we had hoped but we had hoped but how much sadness how many defeats how many failures there are in the lives of every person deep down we are all a little like those two disciples 
how many times we have hoped in our lives how many times we have felt like we were one step away from happiness only to find ourselves knocked to the ground disappointed but jesus walks with all people who discouraged walk with their heads hung low and walking with them in a discreet manner he is able to restore hope 